Ladies, ladies, I'm here on the show on a little bit later recapping my thing up from all. I kind of fell asleep. I uh, fell asleep for a little bit. So now we're to recap of uh, Chiefs Saints Monday Night Football. Uh, the Chiefs improved to five and zero heading to their bye week before um, they get San Francisco in week um, I think seven. Saints drop two and three. Saints um, the Saints have uh, come back down to earth, ladies and gentlemen. They start off the week so good. Or start off the year so good. That's how they that's how the offense played tonight. Shit. Besides, um, I think, uh, scoring one, no, they scored two, had two touchdown drives, one in the second quarter, and one in the fourth quarter, but, other than that, they didn't have much success, but as I was mentioning, they've come back down to earth, they start off really good 2-0, they were like, oh, are the, are the, um, are the new one Saints legit, are they for real, are they for real? Well, it turns out they're not because they played the Carolina Panthers and the My Dallas Cowboys. His defense uh, was not good. Defense, I guess, is much better now for my Cowboys. Yeah, the Saints, man, they just, they've come back down to earth. The offense doesn't look the same. The defense, I mean, you wouldn't say it was the defense's fault. It's just the offense really struggled to score tonight. Some. This is probably the most frustrating Saints season ever for some some of their fans. The season is collapsing. But I found some of the injury apocalypse that which kills it. No team sustains this many injuries except that maybe the 49ers and Rams. Right now. Those teams are trying to strand in the same issues. Kobe 8 did a nice job trying to work through limitations on their offense, but not great, but They're off the line, eh, not really great. The defense has been gashed two of three weeks. It's, their defense hasn't really been as good as it was to start of the year. Uh, some turnovers in the red zone. Turnovers and red zone play won't save them forever. And sloppy on details, per usual, that's, that's on coaching. Just, it just seems there doesn't seem to be any light at the end of the tunnel right now for this New Orleans Saints team. Soft season 2 0. They've lost their last three games. So they've kind of struggled. Maybe if they get their injuries under control, yeah, they could probably be back. But yeah, that's, it wasn't a fun game, not to be honest. You, wa you weren't going to beat the Chiefs on the road in Arrowhead. The problem is. The games you gave away against the Fal Eagles and Falcons, Arrowhead ate the place to break, break out of that slump. They gave the game away against Philadelphia, and then Atlanta, where Atlanta did score a single offensive touchdown, but still won that game. Those are two games you gave away, and that was a bad time to go slumming where you played the def two-time defending champs. Derek Carr was 18-28, 165, two touchdowns, one interception. They throw the interception to start the game. And they played catch up ever since. So he he had the oblique injury um, before he was even hit, and like I said, he wasn't able to affect to be effective enough in the game to stay in the game. I would have tried doing something to manage it, but there wasn't enough time. And he had that pick at the start. And I mean, maybe he could. have, I don't know if he was faking faking it or not. It could be maybe like a mild oblique strain. I just look. Derek Carr wasn't good. His uh, apparently the injury. Um, he is um, not good, and he's getting getting a MRI done tomorrow. So it looks like Jay Jay Kaner probably could start going forward because it doesn't sound good on the Derek Carr injury. But I don't know. I don't know if he's going to start either because he was horrible in the one and a half minutes he had to play. Like, he runs after, like, .4 seconds after the ball is snapped. Like, he runs immediately. I don't know. You, if it's me, and Derek Carr's injury is bad, I'm starting Spencer Rattler. No question. Because he said he, right now, he's not feeling good and was uh, emotional at the podium at the post game. So, but yeah, uh, point is, played tonight, he wasn't bad. He just wasn't great. He just wasn't great to beat the Chiefs tonight. He threw that touchdown in the second quarter. Once 
Shahid, uh, what the fuck is his name? Rashid Shahid? Who had 86 yards in the touchdown? Really the only effective in the guy in the passing game tonight. But their card was good. But they, eh, I mean, I'll just say he was average, not good. I'll say average. 18-28 to those two touchdowns. He got that one touchdown that made it to get it, got it to a three-point game, actually. It was a 16-13, but then the Chiefs got a touchdown, got a field goal, and put this game back out of reach. But Jake Ayer came in, he, came in, he was 217-17 yards. No disrespect to him, it's just you'd rather see um, Spencer Rattler. But the offensive line, though, sucks. But Hanger has zero future in the NFL. Like, he's not going to have a future future out there, and they didn't want to put Spencer Rattler out there, like, they, they didn't want to have Spencer Rattler get hurt by the freaking O on one, but we'll see, we'll have him down forward, and the law they wasn't getting any targets until they put him in the fucking game, there's a lot of he had only like two catches for ten yards, like, I don't know, like, he needs to... He needs a better offense, man. He needs a better quarterback that can actually throw him the fucking ball. Um, Rashid, uh, Shahid had a touchdown on 86 yards. Kamara, 40 yards catching on six catches. Johnson, five catches, 31 yards. Foster Moreau, two catches, 13 yards and a touchdown. Olavia had those two catches for 10 yards. Chase Young and Brian Breesey, Chad a sack and, uh, Kalen, uh, Kalen Sanders. Or Saunders got an interception. The only highlights for the Saints defense. Uh, Juju dropped a pass. It landed right in Saunders' hands. Really the only positive uh, of this night. For the New Orleans Saints dropped them 2 and 3. Kamara, they really struggled to run the football. He was 11 of 26 for 2.4 yards per carry. I mean, this 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 Chiefs defense, man. So many good players, man. Trent, Trent McDuffie's still late. Um, Chris Jones, Justin Reed. Like, they have so many guys, man, defensively. Cream Hunt had 100 yards and hit um, for the Chiefs. Besides the interception, Mahomes had a very good game. 331 yards. Sometimes they just would just have to settle for field goals. Had that turnover in the red uh, in and in, uh, inside the like 10. Um, but yeah, Mahomes played pretty well, man. 331 yards. And they had a lot of yards after the catch tonight. Like, yeah, he hasn't been as good this year, but I think he'll be fine. Uh, Cream Hunt, 27 runs, 102 yards, uh, 3 point per carry, 1 touchdown. Now we're seeing Juju Smith Schuster, 7 catches, 103 yards. Besides drop that one pass again intercept and getting intercepted. Juju Smith, Ju Juju Smith Schuster. Whew, he was great. A turn back the clock. Not nah, from Juju Smith. Like he's gonna be one of the players of the game for this team tonight. Uh, Travis Kelsey had a very good night. Nine catches, seventy yards. They finally got him involved more, and he had that third and twenty-two pitch back to Samaj P. Ryan. Uh, Miko Hardman, four catches, 33 yards. Noah Gray, two catches, 29 yards. Worthy, three catches, 25 yards. Also had uh, that three-yard rush for a touchdown. Got the snap from uh, Kelsey. Uh, Smodrick Payron, one catch, 24 yards. Cream Hunt, one catch, 15 yards. They even used Jody Fortson, one catch, five yards. They used even four tight ends tonight. And I was kind of curious, oh, how would this offense look without Rasheed Rice? What would they get Travis Kelsey the long one? They did. Got him nine catches. They got Juju Smith Juicer with seven catches at 100 plus yards. Their defense played really well. Got an interception from um, Brian Cook. Got a sack from um, Ter Tershawn Wharton. Their defense played really well. Butker made four of his five field goals tonight. And a, f and a 56 yard punt by Reza. Their special teams was good. It's just when you're slumping like this, it's it's, it's hard to freaking win like, uh, in Kansas City, man. Tonight was the first time they've had a 300-plus yard pass or a 100-plus yard rush and a 100-plus yard receiver in the same game since 
Mahomes, Pacheco, and Kelsey in 2022 against um, the Chargers. So, yeah, uh, that's really got to say here. And Dennis Allen, Saints are 2-8 and eight against opponents who took the field with a winning record, including tonight's loss. He's lost 49 of his 75 games as, as a NFL head coach and 21 of 39 games with the Saints and his 347 win percentage ranked 347 win percentage ranks 167th among 177 qualifiers in league history. Look, I, look, I don't know, you just can't win big games. Like, I'm not saying he should be fired, but like, they just don't win big games. I don't know. Yeah, the Chiefs are 5-0, and going to their bye week. Like, they've had a lot of close games. But, uh, this one won't tell it. I mean, I know it was 16-13 for the fourth quarter. But the, the Chiefs really let them back in it with that interception. But they really dominated, like, 460-220 to in total yards, 139-46 to in rushing, 321-174 to in passing. 5.8 yards per play to 4.3. 28 more, 28 first down, 28 first downs to 14. 6 of 14 on third down to 4 of 10. Um, 80 to 51 on total plays. They forced four punts, about nearly the same in penalties. Five, five, uh, six for the Chiefs, five for the Saints. And about 20, about 19 more minutes of time possession. They just can really control this game. Now the Saints defense, I thought played way, uh, played. I guess well enough, it's just the offense can never really deliver, except make it a three-point game, but the defense mainly got shredded. So, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say here for um, this game. So, until next time, Pal Clot, peace, and I'll see you guys for the National League Division Series tomorrow, or I guess technically today. Um, Mets, Phillies, and my Dodgers against the Padres, game three. I'll have the coverage, I'll have the post games. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say here. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Next time I'm out, peace, and I'll see you guys in. It should be an exciting day tomorrow on this show.